Hello and welcome to another video. In this video we take a control system in the state variable model and we find the transfer function. This can only be done if it is a single input, single output system. That the procedure has been adapted so that we can do that. We first have to find the state transition matrix. And here we have the determinant. And finally, you need to note that the characteristic roots, when we talk about characteristic roots, the characteristic equation for the matrix is just the determinant. But to find the characteristic roots, we set the determinant to zero and solve for lambda. And that is the characteristic roots of the system. Now, what we need to do next, we need to find the transfer function labeled there on the left hand side, which brings together the A, B, and C matrices. As you can see clearly, what is happening here is that the column matrix on the right sifts the rows, sorry, the columns of our two by two matrix, that is the one activates the left hand column and the zero blocks the right hand column and then we use the row matrix on the left to separate the rows within that column so by using by using the column matrix on the right and the row matrix on the left we can, in fact, select any of the elements within our system matrix. And as you can see, the arrangement of the system there now is to select the bottom left-hand element. So we just put that. Of course, we expand by using the determinant and write that like as shown. Now if we want to find the step response, we have to use our substitute one over S for RS there on the right hand side of the transfer function. And then we use partial fraction expansion to find the constants and then when we do the Laplace transform on each of those, we end up with the step response as shown on the right-hand side there at the bottom. That is the unit step response to a unit step function. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.